The alarm manager is a comprehensive personal trading assistant. It can notify you of events on your account or in the market. It can carry out automated actions and it can automatically send communications via email, Twitter or SMS. Setting it up. To get started, simply drag and drop the alarm manager from the expert advisors list in MetaTrader 4 Navigator onto a chart. Make sure the Allow Live Trading and Allow DLL Imports boxes are checked and that auto trading is turned on. You are now ready to trade using the alarm manager. You can position the alarm manager anywhere on your desktop or on the chart. If you want to pin it to the chart, simply click on the top left icon and select Pin Unpin. If you want to make the alarm manager bigger or smaller, you can do this by putting your mouse on a corner and dragging the borders of the app. Multiple languages The alarm manager operates in multiple international languages as standard and, if possible, will automatically display in the language used for your MT4. To change the Alarm Manager language once the MT4 is open, simply select the language you want from the main MT4 View Languages menu and either restart the MT4 or remove and add back the Alarm Manager. Alarm Manager currently supports these languages. If you would like a new language to be added, please ask. Alarms and Groups When the Alarm Manager first runs, it will display a series of example alarms divided into groups such as Account Alarms and Price Alarms. The Example Alarms are for demonstration purposes only and do not have any actions attached to them. A group is just a label that helps to organize alarms. Any type of alarm can be put into any group. Setting up Alarms to start with, we will set up a simple alarm, a timer which places a market order. We can add the alarm to any group. For this example, we will add our timer to the other alarms group by clicking on the icon in the header bar. Here we see a list showing us all the types of alarms which are available, from which we will choose Timer Countdown. These fields are where we change the settings of the alarm. Timers can be set to any required delay. Here we're setting the timer to end in 10 seconds. Any number of actions can now be added, all of which will be triggered when the timer finishes. To trigger the Place Market Order action, click on the Add Action button. We then choose Place Market Order from the wide range of actions the Alarm Manager can carry out. We then enter the details of the trade to place, for example, buying 0.1 lots euro dollar and we click on the Add button to add the action to the alarm. Once we're ready, we click on the Save button to store the details of the new alarm and set the timer running. The timer counts down to zero and when the duration is complete, the alarm triggers the actions that have been set, placing a new trade on the account, which we can see in the usual way on our Euro Dollar chart. Editing and resetting an alarm. The status of all alarms is shown on the status icon. Once an alarm has gone off, its status icon changes. If we click or slide the icon, the alarm resets. In this case, the timer starts counting down again to place another euro dollar trade. Alarms can be edited and reset by clicking over the label rather than the status icon. Alarms we no longer need can be deleted or we can change the setting for the alarm, adding extra actions or editing existing actions. Alarms can also be set to reset automatically. Setting our example alarm to reset immediately would mean that our timer would place a new trade every 10 seconds. It would count down, place a trade, reset itself, count down again, place another trade, reset itself, and so on. We can also use the alarm settings to move the alarm into a different group or to create a new group. For example, we can change the group name to Timers and then save the changes. Alarm Manager has created a new group called Timers 
and the alarm has been moved into it. Types of alarm The Alarm Manager app provides many different types of alarm based on events occurring in an individual account or in the market. Alarms can be based on a price hitting a particular level or changing by a set amount. We can set an alarm based on account metrics. For example, we could have an alarm which triggers if free margin falls below a level such as $1,000 or if the number of open trades exceeds 5. These can be used to send an automated email describing each new trade which is opened or to post automatically to social media. There are also timed alarms, alarms on news events and market sentiment, and popular technical indicators such as moving averages or swing points. In this example, we will create an alarm which triggers whenever there is a moving average cross on euro dollar. This alarm will trigger when the 20 bar moving average crosses above the 50 bar moving average on an hourly euro dollar chart. Alarm actions. Any type of alarm can be configured to carry out any type of action, and any alarm can carry out multiple actions. For example, we have an alarm set to go off when there is a moving average cross on euro dollar. We can now set this alarm to do a number of things when the moving average cross occurs. Firstly, we will get a pop-up message to appear on screen. We can use the default text which describes the type of alarm and the time it goes off, or we can change the text of the message to something else. We will also set the alarm to place a new trade going long euro dollar. Finally, we can use the alarm to send out an email to a single recipient or to a group telling them that we have gone long euro dollar and why. As you can see, the alarm manager is a great personal trading assistant, rich with features designed to help you trade more efficiently with better tools and better information. For further information, please contact us or check the website for the software's detailed user guide.